Hello everyone, you're welcome to more gallery online training. I'll be teaching how to make angled fascinator. Enjoy the class. Thank you for watching. Now the first thing you need to do is you secure your crinoline. After securing your crinoline, then you fold it into two. And then after folding again, then you fold again. Take note of the folding. Yeah, so you fold it again into two. Let it meet the end. So and then you wrap your thread around you wrap it to secure it to get that shape that's what is called angled so to get that shape you wrap your thread around around it so ensure you pull your thread you pull your thread properly and then insert your needle through you pass it through so that to secure your crinoline very well sure you secure it properly so it doesn't pull out so the next thing we're going to do the other end we're going to create our other angle design all you need to do is fold into two and fold it again to get our angle shape that's the shape we want to get so after that ensure they are equal make sure they are equal you look at it very well you look at it and make sure both sides are equal so once they are equal you pass your thread round you wrap it round with your thread wrap it very well with your thread to secure it to ensure it doesn't lose out so once you wrap it out very well then you pass your needle through you pass your needle through and then your angle design is ready angle design is ready all you need to do is just secure your crinoline very well and detach and cut out the excess crinoline So now I have three angle design. I want to join the three together to form a triple design. So all I need to do is place them on each other. So I'm placing two angles on each other. So I tap, tack it properly with my needle and thread. Ensure it's firm. You pull your thread properly so it is firm. So once you are done with two, the next thing you do is... Pull your thread well, pull it properly, pull it properly, you pass your needle through, you go several like twice, then you place the third one on it, place it on it properly, just let it be in between, just arrange it, let it be in between, so you use your needle and thread, just join them together, and then the triple design is ready, we have our triple angle design ready, our fascinator will soon be ready. So you use your needle and thread to arrange your crinoline, the angle design, so you tack it properly. So once you tack it properly, angle design is ready. So the next thing is attachment of the angle design on the Alice band. All you need to do is just pass your needle through and thread round the Alice band, tack it to the, attach it to the design and then the fascinator is ready, it's, you can see. So the next is the decoration. You decide what you want to use. I'll be using accessory. You also um, cover up the bottom part. You don't leave it like that. If you have a label, you just attach your label. But I have a felt material I attach before attaching my label. So that's what I'll be using to cover up my thread to have a good finishing. So and once I cover it up, and then I decide what to do. So now I have my bottom covered so the next is to attach my rose flower accessory on my design so all I need to apply my gum and place it on the design 
and then my fascinator is good to go so i've decided the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to top it up with some stones i just attach stones on it to make it sparkle a bit and then i'm good to go so the fascinator is ready fascinator is ready yeah now hi hi, hi. thank you for watching more gallery online training